TV. Uh, my name is James Bromberger. I'm looking on the couch as ever. Here's Mr. Michael Davies. Hello. And we are joined at the moment also uh, by uh, Rusty Russell. I just, Russell. Thought, I just thought this was a quiet place to sit, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Um, so, um, Rusty, welcome along. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's, it's good to be here. Great to see you. Um, obviously, uh, we should probably give a little introduction as to who Rusty is and why he's here. Well, you know what? For those who don't know, Rusty's the guy who um, we can blame for all of this. All of what you see is his fault. Yeah. All the good stuff is mine, the rest of it, uh, not so much. So, um, just to let you know, we've got a camera there, obviously, as well. Um, so, uh, you started this in 1999. <laughs> Yeah, in the, in the sense of the idiot who starts a small snowball that turns into something bigger. I, well, you you know, yes, fire. yes. Well, yeah. Um, but that makes it sound like I did, I did real work. Uh, you know, I look at the organisers no, today. I was there. You, you did do real work. <laughs> I, I think we've actually just played out some footage, actually, of the original um, Elsa oh, Kalu. Um, there was a whole bunch of pictures that I found. So that, that obviously it was just a room and a bunch of people getting together. and. Uh, Three rooms. Oh, three rooms. We had three rooms. Yeah. I was there. I don't know. Were you there? I was there. You were there? Yeah. I was there. Yes. yes. Of course, you guys Richard. worked in Adelaide, so that's pretty easy. I remember Rusty standing up in front of the user group and saying, please come. I've, yeah. I've, I've made this investment, and now, yeah. now you have to come and make it happen. It reminds me of Bill and Ted's adventure. If you book them, they will come. Uh, that's right. Well, that, you know, it really was. That was the thing. It was a hope that, that yes. people would want to have a conference. And I did a tour of all the lugs uh, in preparation. I mean, we didn't have credit card facilities, so I pinged someone at every lug to basically take cash and take bookings, um, and that was how we did it. So how many people were there at that very first LCA? Well, someone said 200, but that sounds high to me. I think it was around 120, uh, was 126. Saying, right. so um, it's Callow. It was Callow then, yeah. Callow. There, um, was, there were three average, you know, university lecture theatres. Yep, uh, in, the, in the middle of winter in Melbourne. Um, not the brightest time, perhaps, but I do remember going outside at one stage as I was running around, and uh, there was nobody outside, everyone was inside listening to what was going on. So, you know, I think to some extent, you know, the lack of Wi-Fi and the lack of any infrastructure uh, was in our favour. And, and, and I think that's always set a really good precedent is that um, for this conference, it doesn't matter if things fail. So long as there's a room with a roof, uh, maybe some lighting will be okay just to get the power up, and then that's all we need. Yeah, get the speakers and attendees in the same place and the rest is really icing on the cake. So what's your most memorable moment over the last sort of, what is it? Oh. Uh, that's, 15 years of this? That is a that is a big, big ask. Um, I think we're going to prep people if we're going to ask them questions quite Yeah, often. yeah. I know. I, you know, I, I sort of have to mentally sort my top 10 now. There are... I mean, I, I, I could... We, we could spend a couple of hours discussing, you know, the good old days. I think, I think the thing that always... That, that always brings it home to me is when something does go wrong and we see people who are attendees just sort of jump in and, right. and, and help out. Right. Uh, just because you know everybody wants this this to go well and everything yeah. wants this thing to work. Um, everything from you know the first one where we had to uh, we had some of the speakers uh, photocopying their own uh, own tutorial notes uh, and folding them, um, and also the, the DIY T-shirts. Someone decided it was ridiculous we didn't have T-shirts, so he found a local who had a car and they went around and bought all the white T-shirts they could and got the university to basically screen print the uh, front page of the website on all the t-shirts and just sold them at cost to, to anyone who wanted them. Um, and I had nothing to do with that. That was all just somebody who decided it had to be done. That's exactly the spirit of the conference. Uh, so, you know, whenever you see something go slightly wrong and a bunch of volunteers having to help people, um, that really, for me, is, is about our community and, and how strong we are. And that, that spirit is yours, right? Even to today. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. We, we see things at this conference where, where people see something that needs to get done and they just step up yeah, and do it. Exactly. Because they know that you know it's a volunteer run conference, we're not paying people to do this. Yeah. Uh, so if, if someone doesn't step up then it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Exactly. You know, and the mini comps and boffs of course are the embodiment to some extent, the right. formalisation of that, right. where it's organise yourself and, and go and do it. Yeah. And I think we're at our strongest when we encourage people to go and try stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm really pleased to see what was it, seven different mini comps this year. Um, you know, those, the, the extended birds of a feather effectively. And, and this probably one that I caught this afternoon. Um, just such a focused group. Yeah. Awesome for us to be able to give them a presence to talk about Linux and open source in the context of astronomy. I think it's a, a really huge. Uh, what have you guys seen today? What okay, seen? so. Um, I spent some time in the Colonel uh, mini conf, of course. As you and, uh, well, no, no, so somebody actually sent me a message saying, "Hey, um, people want to hear about um, NF tables. You know, you should come and talk about it." It's like, well, I know nothing about NF tables. I was there ten years ago. I was like, this would be a good idea. Um, 
but you know the ideas have evolved a lot since then. So um, my response was, that if someone was talking about NF tables, I would love to go to that Absolutely, talk. Yeah. So unfortunately not. Um, so yeah, I mean the Kernel Mini Conf is always always a bit of a hit. Um, they're running it very much as an unconference this year, so basically. Uh, you know, turn up what do people want to hear and we'll just grab from that list and in some ways that works really well because there's always such a high concentration of kernel hackers here that almost any topic except for nf tables that you can pick you'll find somebody to, to, to well, that's good, isn't it? because you don't necessarily know who's in the audience uh, because that's you know it. even when we organize things you know it's, it's amazing how sometimes at an lca tour you'll be talking about something going wrong and then all of a sudden someone pipes up there. And, and, and someone has a competing viewpoint. You know, yeah. It's like, well, have you thought about this? And all of a sudden, it, it spurs on new conversation and you know, to eventually new patches. So Absolutely. That's just part of the, uh, the conference spirit, isn't I it? Mean, so, this is definitely something that I was saying before. The newcomers, uh, my success rate with going up to a random person and asking them what they're hacking on is about 80 to 90%. Like, just walk up to an attendee, ask them what they're hacking on, it will be something interesting. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, there is such a breadth of experience at the conference that the the line between speakers and attendees in this conference is much, much thinner than almost any other conference I've been to. Right. As is the line, I think, if you look at um, previous organisers, ghosts and attendees, um, we're basically getting everybody involved and sucking everybody into to running the conference at some stage or other, um, yes. which I think just propagates it forward and, and pays it forward over time. Yeah. So it's a, right. You too will run this conference one year. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Come it's and speak to experience. us. Yeah. It is a good experience. It's a good experience. I'm going to say, for me, back in 03, it was, I think, one of the fortunate things that I think and I think it's the right way of paying back into the community and, uh, and enabling other people to do stuff. I used to have hair. And that was also in the video that earlier too. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is that charming looking young man? Right. Now, some of the other stuff you've been working on more recently has been the, um, the Vert.io stuff. Yes, so talk my talk, that. talk at the con is, is Vert.io. Um, well, not to steal, steal my own thunder, my talk is what is Vert.io. <laughs> so, um, it was really an effort about uh, five years ago uh, to try to create a standard where there is none at the moment. So every virtualization vendor has their own system for fast I.O., uh, yes. para virtual I.O. Yes. And nobody had ever sat down and gone, what if we tried to make an independent one? So VMware have got theirs, Zen have got theirs. Everyone uses their boutique methods. Um, and no one was really interested or motivated to set up one that would work across, you know, so you could try to implement VMware's one, for example, but it would always be VMware's and you'd be implementing it. So they've done it well for them, yes. wouldn't necessarily work well for you. So the question is, what would an independent one look like? What if we, what if we were independent? Um, and it's really something that it's, it's great for the user base to actually have a standard that they can then migrate between different options. Not perhaps so so well liked by the vendors themselves, the entrenched vendors, but uh, something that we've been slowly pushing. We've seen gain momentum. So uh, it's now approaching. Um, it's now becoming an actual real standard. No, uh, and I, no, no, uh, Oasis is Oasis. the standard body yeah. that we're yeah. using. Um, I was hoping to have working draft one out, but uh, it won't quite be out um, officially. Yeah, I mean, you can actually grab the, the current draft, but the official dr uh, uh, public draft one uh, probably come out just after this conference at this rate. So you know, we're making progress on there, but yeah, it's really talk about what the standard is, where we're going with it, and what's particularly the changes for the 1.0 standard. Well, very timely then, right? It's not yeah. not something that happened six months ago. It's stuff that's happening right now. Right now. Yes, a, a little bit more timely than I'd hoped. I'd hoped to be talking about <laughs> the, the completed <laughs> standard, but these things always take longer than you'd, you'd expect or hope, even if you take that into account. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Now, um, obviously not yet announced, we don't know where we're going next year for LCA. Uh, have you got any preferences? Where yes. Have we been recently? Yes, I do. Um, I really want to put a plug out there for Wollongong. Right? Wollongong? Wollongong. Okay. We have that classic Unix heritage. The yes. Lions book was John yes. Lyons was at the University of Wollongong. Right. You know, I would really like to see LCA go to Wollongong. It'd be appropriate, and, wouldn't it? And do yeah. that at some stage. So. Yeah. I really hope someone out there in Wollongong is going, yes, this is this is the endorsement I need. So, um, yes, uh, I would push Wollongong to apply in a few years' time and get a really great uh, offering together. And um, I so would definitely support that bid. But maybe an alternative bid, maybe somewhere like, I don't know, Brampton Island or somewhere else <laughs> in the West Sundays, because uh, it's about time we had a, a tropical conference. Right? Absolutely, yeah. a great Barrier Reef conference. Yeah. I've been hearing about some hacking that's been going on in um, hammocks. So maybe yeah. we need to promote that. I think that was Mr. Stiller who was doing that, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, 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 Havoc last weekend, it was uh, happily tweeting out from it. That's right. Yes. The running joke 
in 2003, in fact. The last Perth one was the Broom. Broom. Broom, Broom, Broom. is the venue. And of course, Pierre has dispelled the, uh, the opportunity of going to Antarctica. I think yes, it's not quite feasible. Yeah. We've got them on video this morning, so. Yeah. Indeed. We've yeah. not been to Darwin yet, have we? No, we have Darwin. No. I mean, the, the key ingredient that you need, um, other than think, things are slightly fungible, like venue size and stuff like that, but that's always great to have. Um, but you do need people on the ground. Absolutely. And that's what stops us in some of the places, is right. that you really need an active user group, you right. need you know, a university or something that's, that's interested, so that you can just have that volume that you need of people to, to, you know, to, to run a conference like this. Yeah. And that lets us down in places like Broome, for example. Without anyone on the ground, uh, I don't think this conference can be run remotely. Yeah, so. absolutely. But it has been good to see how this thing's popped up around the country. You know, we've gone to regional areas, we've gone to New Zealand, we've gone to, you know, so many different places, right? And it just shows that there's, there's, there's vibrant open source communities yeah. all around the place. And I think that's actually just been back nationally or regionally, not just concentrating us in one capital city sure. year after year. Sure. I think it's it's spreading it around and, and we've seen our own dog food and making better software that's available for people around the place and, and fostering that collaboration, yeah. um, which is really great to see. Absolutely. Yes, we rock. Okay, you got any other questions? No, well, no, interesting. So I'm actually giving a second talk. Oh, um, yeah, there, there were a few. Well, no, it's not, it's not up yet. There was, there was a few TBA slots you may have noticed in the program. So uh, just goes to flexibility, right? I mean, you know, people who step up last minute to, yeah, to help us out yes. with a free slot. Absolutely. Well, so it was a talk I was thinking of submitting if I finished the code in time. And with everything that happened in the last month, moving house and all that, it didn't happen. I realised it wasn't going to happen. So I just sort of you know, went, okay push it to the back burner and when this opportunity came up I thought well maybe I can get I can I, I've got something compiles so I can push it to github and then talk about it 15 minutes later so oh good you've, you've met that to you. it's yeah it, 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 it's released open source gpl v3 yep. um, so uh, so yes I will have something to talk about um, which is good I haven't written anything yet because I have a real horizon effect I've got to get through the next tour um, oh absolutely and then and then concentrate on but, the one but can you give that. us a sentence a summary, what is it? One sentence about what the next talk's going to be. Or you're not prepared to do that? Yes, I could. Oh, but we're out of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> You'll just have to keep an eye on the on Friday's schedule and, and watch it come out. All right, so we'll see the next talk from you on Friday. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that'd be great. Rusty, thank you ever so much for coming and talking to us on LCA TV. And we'll look forward to whatever's coming out next Fantastic. I think this is a great idea, guys. Good job. Thank Excellent. you very much. Thank you for your time. Take care, mate. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks, Cheers.